In this video, we'll learn to use the mean, median, mode and range to compare two sets of data. So I've got the marks for the same tests from two different classes. And as you can see, I've written class A in blue and class B in green to differentiate. And now I've worked out the mean for each class, the median, mode and range. Now we'll use these to compare them. So as you can see, class A on average scored 4.8 marks, whereas class B 5.6 marks. So what does that tell us? Since this, this is an average measure, the mean, that tells us that class B did better in general. Class B did better on average. That's a better word to use. And the median as well does about the average as well. So that is supporting the same thing that class B did better on average because they received on average six marks, whereas class A 5.5 .5 marks. So again, this supports the same thing that class B did better on average. In terms of the mode, which is the most common value, the most common mark, this shows again that the most common mark for class B was seven, which was one mark higher than for class A, class A yeah. So in terms of the mode, we can say that the most common mark was higher in class B. So that again supports the argument that class B did better. And in terms of the range, which we know is the difference between the highest and the lowest mark, that kind of measures the spread. How spread out are these marks? And as you can see from class A, the lowest mark was 1 and the highest was 8. But that was exactly the same for class B. The lowest mark was 1 and the highest was 8. So... The spread is equal for both classes. So this last bit hasn't given us much information really. There wasn't a difference between them two. So we can't really properly compare, but at least that shows that that spread was the same. It wasn't the case that this the mean was affected by, let's say, a, a mark that started on three. So maybe starting with a mark of three, that would have impacted the mean, that would have impacted the median as well. So having the same range reinforces these other measures that we're using to compare the data.